Our final host for tonight is our cousin, Ahmed Polat. Let me make some introductions. Introduce you with his uh, full CV. Um, Ahmed received his master's degree in management and human resources from the University of Sydney. He's currently a PhD uh, candidate at the School of Political and Social Inquiry and his study, which will be no surprise to anyone who's had any extended conversation with Ahmed, is uh, focusing on the Gulen Hizmet movement in, uh, in Turkey. Ahmed is the executive director of Affinity Intercultural Foundation, uh, host tonight. Before this role, he was executive director of the Australian Intercultural Society in Melbourne. Ahmed has also worked as a school principal and a teacher at Amity College. He is the National Advisory Board Member for the Centre for Citizenship and Globalisation Centre at Deakin University. He's a busy man. Uh, please make welcome, Albert. Thank you. Um, thank you, my cousin Hugh. <laughs> Distinguished guests, frankly, I must admit that is a little intimida intimidating presenting my speech in front of you tonight since there are so many qualified and professional media personalities in the room. Uh, I mean, John Cleary and Hugh Remington and also Simon and I know Robbie and there are lots of people. And, um, however, you are my uncles, aunties and cousins, so please accept my shortcomings. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, every year I look forward to, uh, to look forward to the holy month of Ramadan so that I can bring this evening to you. It's a pleasure to host all of you, uh, to bring people together, share a meal and build new friendship. You may wonder what goes into the organization of this program. Let me, let me tell you, it involves uh, countless late nights as well as a minimum of 5,000 emails being sent. <laughs> Tonight's iftar dinner in New South Wales Parliament House is a signature event in Affinity's uh, annual calendar. And it's a reminder of how far we have come. Affinity held its very first iftar dinner here in 2009, and tonight marks our ninth annual iftar at this venue. Each year, demand for our event increases, and our guest list is always at full capacity. I think it's about time that New South Wales Parliament House opens up a new venue to cater to our ever-expanding iftar dinners. Um, forgive me. Ramadan is a time for Thanksgiving, sharing, devotion, and spiritual nourishment, a time when we gather around a dinner table and share not only food, but also common values and friendship. The Muslim community opens its homes to the wider society in Ramadan. To reciprocate, the people of New South Wales open their house, the parliament, to the diverse audience here tonight. This mutual welcoming and acceptance goes a long way in showing our oneness in society. We Muslims are your neighbor, your colleague, your friend, and we share the future of this country with you. In an era where conflict seems to dominate the headlines, we, as everyday people, are continu continually working to remove prejudice, racism, and bigotry, and sowing the seeds of peace, compassion, and respect. This is the path the affinity has taken. We believe the best way to respond to local and international incidents is by positive action through creating opportunities for dialogue underpinned by mutual respect that lead to understanding and tolerance. We have no capital other than love, no intention other than serving humanity. We believe healing with love is the most enduring solution. There is a beautiful energy in the room tonight. This event is an opportunity for us to come together, embrace our differences, and then celebrate our shared humanity. I would like to acknowledge and thank my co-host, Honorable Ray Williams, I can call cousin, and the Honorable Sophie Kostas, she's also my cousin too. We appreciate the work they do for the state of New South Wales and for partnering with us to deliver tonight's program. I would also like to acknowledge our keynote speaker, New South Wales Police Commissioner Mike Fuller, our vote of thanks speaker, the Honorable Chief Justice uh, uh, James Olsop, and our concluding remarks speaker, uh, tonight I think he's not available, Honorable Craig Londy, as well as all wonderful speakers who have spoken tonight. 
Everyone's speeches have provided us with plenty of food for thought. I would also like to acknowledge parliamentarians from across the politi political spectrum and the members of judiciary, barristers and legal practitioners to the many representatives from consular corps, public service, media, academia, as well as the sports, arts, entertainment, and then non-profit in industries and community and religious groups. Welcome uh, one and all. Next, I would like to express, express thanks to Walangari Kranto and the Mipti College Choir for their outstanding performance. Their songs, important messages of the love and universal peace. There is no better time for it for it than now. Later on, we will be treated a special Sufi musical performance from the Anatolian Music Group, who will be singing and performing songs using traditional Middle Eastern instruments. I am sure you will be very impressed by their performance. They are, for, they are my cousins from Melbourne. <laughs> I would sincerely like to thank Hugh Remington, my cousin, who accepted our humble request <laughs> to MC to MC this meaningful uh, night and celebrate it with us. I would like to express my appreciation to Network 10 for proudly supporting our program this evening. Now I would like to take a moment to um, remember a great friend of mine, uh, mine and supporter of Affinity who passed away earlier this year. His name was Alan Lloyd. He was a unique man who, li who loved humanity and had a knack for being bluntly honest that's why his nickname was Frank. He was, he was a member of the Affinity Advisory Board and I knew him for three years. Over the course of that, over the course of that time, we established a beautiful relationship like that of uncle and nephew. Despite the differences in our cultural backgrounds, we both shared the same values uh, of love and respect for humanity. I always told him, I am human being first, Muslim second. This connected us deeply. Tonight, Uncle, Uncle Alan's family, including his wife, Kathy, and their children, and his sister, Glenda, are our special guests at this iftar. I will not, thank you. I will not forget un Uncle Alan's loving kindness and generous spirit and all, uh, and all that he has done for Affinity. Affinity stands, stands for commitment, a commitment to individuals, to our society, to peace, to understanding, and a commitment to do good work here in New South Wales, Australia, and on Earth. The last 12 months has been an interesting and, a, and at times challenging time for Affinity and on behalf of the Affinity ex executive team, I'd like to formally thank and acknowledge the guidance offered us by advisory board, board members, directors, management team. Your support and encouragement allows us to walk, to, uh, walk tall on the path uh, we have set out upon from day one. And a big thank you to our dedicated volunteers. Without their generosity in sharing their time and skills, we wouldn't be able to pull off some of the things that we have achieved. Once again, I thank you for your attendance and your ongoing support, and I wish uh, this holy night will open the doors of mercy open all of us. Finally, I'd like to give warm, heartfelt thanks to our event sponsors. Without their generous support, tonight wouldn't have happened. I'd like to end with one of my favorite quotes. Love is a verb, and love is an action. Love is a dedication to humanity. I greet everyone with the deepest respect. Ramadan Mubarak to you all.